Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the Latte Panda and I'll show you, I have a piece of paper print out here, what pins we care about. So on the website for the uh, Latte Panda on Synthium's website, and you know, I'll just show this to you real quick. There is a mention of what port, oops, hold on here, of what ports the uh, COM ports are. So we'll go to Getting Started, Robot Builder, and then Latte Panda should be in this list again. There she is. Okay, so here's the pinouts. Um, the digital pins from zero to 14 can be used for PWM, servo, or digital on off. So those pins are, Let's see if so I can show you. So zero to 14, that's um, these ones. And it looks like these ones. Okay. But it looks like these can also be shared as analog ports. So, and then you have these ones as well are digital. Crazy, lots of digital. Cool. But it'll only go to 14, so not these ones. It's that one. So it'll go zero, those ones, and then 14. Now again, feel free to change the uh, the firmware for whatever you want, right? And then the ports we're going to carry, so those are digital ports, but those aren't the ones we're going to use for talking to the servo. The talk to the Dynamex server, we're going to use the UART. And this is it here, which is D0 and D1. In this case, it's gonna be RX and TX. So these are this pin here. This is gonna be RX, and this pin here is going to be TX, all right? Now, we're gonna hook those two together though because we wanna be able to transmit and receive over the same line because that's how the uh, Robotus works, Dynamexels work. So we don't need this. So back to our Latte Panda. Let's take a look at all of the wires that we have to play with that make this thing work. Now, because I don't do anything permanently, I just kind of hack stuff together. Um, these are all going to not be the greatest. Let's see here. Um, for re I'm not gonna like leave this together after I build it. Okay, so it looks like what I have here is I have a blue wire, which looks like it's going to ground. And then I have these two purple wires, which are gonna be my TX and RX, and they connect to the signal wire that goes to the uh, to here. And to power it, I've broken out the power separately to a barrel jack so that I can give this thing juice without having to power it off the Latte Panda, because that's not, that's not going to work, right? You can't power it off 5 volts USB. So I'll uh, plug this into the servo. There we go. And then we have these wires here. So we're going to plug these into... So according to the schematic that I was, we were just looking at, um, ground is all the way down here. Okay, down in the bottom left corner there. And then TX and RX are these top two on the left side or the right side there. Okay, so that's it. Now we just need to give the servo some power. So I'm gonna use my digital switching power supply, adjustable power supply here. And I got a barrel jack on it. And I set it for 11 volts because that's what the Dynamaxel AX12 is like, is 11.1 11, 11 .1 volts. All right. So just verify everything looks good. Ground. 
Yes. Okay. Let's give it juice and we should not see any white smoke. Cool. Nothing blew up. Sorry to disappoint you. <laughs> okay. Um, now let's switch back over to our computer, the desktop here. And we still got a camera running. We don't, we don't actually need the camera anymore. Let's just close the camera down. And let's go project add, get plugins, because we need to get the Dynamexel plugin and install it into this version of Easy Builder. All right, so we'll search. And I'm going to be looking for Dynamexel. Oh, cool. It searches. I don't even have a hit enter, just like real time. Nice. Our website's awesome. And click install, boom, and click open. I'm so excited. There we go. Nice. And we can close down this now. And back in Easy Builder, click add, and we should be able to go to servo. And there's our Dynamexel control. Nice. Add it in. There she is. Um, we want to configure it. So the servo that we were just looking at to use, it said ID number 10. And I'm hoping that's actually on ID number 10. Um, we can always scan it to find out, but let's see. So we're going to be on UART number zero, okay? Because remember we talked about what UART is coming out of the Arduino? It's zero. One doesn't exist on the Arduino. It doesn't have any more than one UART port. Um, the baud rate, 1 million megabaud, that's what we want. And then, of course, we want to select 10, V10 from our list here. And AX12 is exactly the option we want. And we'll go to utilities here, and yeah, there's nothing in here we need to worry about. So we'll just click save. Uh, now let's add a, let's go to servo. Let's just add a horizontal servo control, something that we can test to make sure the servo actually works. So we'll click the gear on this and go to port and say virtual port V10. And then let's specify a minimal maximum range. Ooh, I hear the servo, it's moving. Yeah, servo is moving. We're golden. So we'll click save and I can click on this and let's see if you guys can see up here. Nice. It responds quick too. Whack, 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 pow, pow, whack, 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 whack. Okay, so all we have to do now to control this, all we have to do now to control this robot is plug this wire from the um, from this servo into that robot. That's it. So that should be easy to do. Uh, let's let's do it, we, and then we'll configure the parts for it. So um, what do I have? I have something. Okay, I made this. Jeremy made. Well, okay, Jeremy made this. I didn't make this. So this is <laughs> this is my uh, Robotus AX12 hub. It just has a whole bunch of connectors onto it, so I can plug this into something. So I don't know if we if we need this. Let me think here. Let's look at our wires that we have. I think all we have to do is take this one here, unplug it, and put that to the side, and then take this one and then plug it into here. All right? Because now we have our signal wire, which is going to we have our signal wire, which is getting split into two and going to RX and TX at the same time in here. And then we have the ground wire, which is going into the Latte Panda. And then we also have the ground wire going to our barrel jack and our power. So this is now powered up for to be connected to, um, to all the servos on the robot. 
So let's try it out. Dun, 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 dun. Cool. So let's see what we have back here. We got one, two, three. This one doesn't have anything plugged into it, but there's one already on here. So I take it, that's what this is supposed to be configured for. So I'll plug that into there. And then I can plug these servos into here. Nice. Okay. So now this is all con connected to the Latte Panda. So what we do need to do next is control the servos. Um, let's switch to my desktop of the of this thing because we actually have a project we can use that we did before in a previous hack. Um, it's in the cloud. So we're going to go to Synthium App Store. Actually, let me click open. Isn't there a project included in Easy Builder for Robotus? Yeah, there's a Bioloid project already. So let's just click and run that. Okay, so this is a project that is already comes included with um, with Easy Builder for the robot for the uh, Bioloid. So let's configure. It's got an auto position here. It's got a description and it's got a camera. Cool, and it's got Dynamaxel. So let's take a look at the auto position and see what we got. Oh, we have a picture, and we have a whole bunch of servos. And let's click on Port Edit. And we can see that they're all configured. Oh, this is wonderful. So all we have to do now is connect to it. So let's close down the camera control because we don't need that right now. And arrange these. There we go. And we don't need the notepad anymore either. Let's get rid of that. And arrange these again. Sweet. So let's go into our connection control, and we have to turn on that DTR option in order to connect to the Arduino that's on the Latte Panda. I click Save, and we'll change the port here to COM5. Click Connect, and we've connected. All right, so all I have to do now is push the Stop button, and this robot should stand up. So let's let's see if that's What's going to happen? So we'll switch the screen over so you can see. OK. What do you think, Jerry? Think it's going to work? Oh, I can't actually see me push the stop button until I do this. OK, I'm going to put the cursor on it, and then I'll go back to this. There we go. All right, you ready? Oh, it worked. <laughs> nice. And we're drawing. About an amp. Now that's not powering the Latte Panda, remember, that's just powering the servos. The Latte Panda is still powered off of this. If we wanted to power the Latte Panda off of the same power supply, like off um, some LiPo battery or something, we're going to need to give it a voltage regulator. And the one I would recommend, if you are going to be ever using a voltage regulator um, for powering things and you want 5 volts, please, 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 whatever you do, don't go get a 7805. Those things are so inefficient. Get a 1084 LM. Okay, get one of those. It's um, it's a really low dropout, and I think it's what three amps or five amps, five amps. So you have you'll have more than enough juice to power the Latte Panda. So that's the voltage regulator you want to get if you want to power this thing off of the batteries on your robot. Okay.